a performance that you could probably say was worth my, maybe more than one point, how would you analyse that one? I'd agree, Ben, but then again, you've got to be more ruthless, you've got to be more clinical. We had many opportunities where we've got to be better in the final third. There's balls flashed across the box on a number of occasions where we've got to fill them um, areas in the box and it's simple tappings. There's also occasions where we've got to have more quality in the final third. A number of times where we've just got to have that quality to find the, the right pass and, and we lack that quality, so that's a disappointing aspect of it. Certainly in terms of of possession you would say yeah they were the dominant team I felt we were sloppy at times even though we were so much in charge of the ball that we always looked a little bit vulnerable at the back um, through sloppy play not concentrating focus all them types of things so as we always say this level it's a learning level um, yeah so I'm, I'm I think they're disappointed in there I think we as we say we we know we're the better team with the ball but you've got to make that dominance count Bish, I said this to Mark, it was a good performance, maybe worth more than just one point tonight. Yeah, I think the boys were outstanding, to be fair. I think like when you come into a game and you dictate play like that and you keep possession of the ball, I think, yeah, every lad in there has got it. We didn't tonight and like they got it that it wasn't three or four, like the chances we had. And they're a great group. They work, they work together so well. They work for each other so well. They work for the manager so well. So it's a, it's a shame. They are gutted and yeah, it's, it's a... But that's we speak about what happens in the final third, but it seems like across the pitch, everything was everyone was doing their jobs right, and the press seems to be something that from the first game of the seasons, everyone's really put 100% effort in it. It's got to be something you're working on in the training ground. Yeah, I think all our teams from the first team down, if you watch our under-13s and under-14s, we all have a decent idea of pressing. Look, pressing is about, yeah, you have a strategy of how you want to press against different formations, but then primarily it's about... It's about the attitude and application to get there, to not be beat off the first the first guy who goes, the covering behind, and all those little details come into it. But the most important thing is that you have to want to go and press as a team. So yeah, it, it was it was all right. It can be better. We'll have, we'll have a look at that as well. Um, I thought we set off really well the first 15, 20 minutes. We were good, um, and then they they set a decent press, and we weren't really good enough or clever enough to find the right solutions through it. We got round them, but we didn't get through them enough, I didn't feel, and then find the next pass again uh, behind their, their back line. Didn't feel we, we carried enough threat, certainly first half, in terms of runs in behind, uh, runs to create space for others, so we could find forward passes. A little bit better second half, but still not enough. You touched on the dominant performance. It almost seems like the final thing is just putting the ball in the back of the net. And obviously that's not your job, but someone's got to do it at some point. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And like Charlie travelling with the first team last night, like it's it's great exposure for the boys going up to the first team. But sometimes like just working together can can help from that. But no, they're a great group, and they've all got the ability to finish all of them. So it's just a matter of it didn't tick for us tonight, and it'll be better. And of goalless at half time, we saw Shaw Terry come on for Savage. Was that an attacking change? No, no, it, it was it was prime it's just because they're both with the first team tomorrow. So they could only do forty five minutes each, which is great for them. They'll go and train with, with the first team squad tomorrow. So I spoke to Charlie and Shola before the game. They both understood and knew. Um, I'm sure they're looking forward to, to to going and training with the first team tomorrow. I thought they both did well. Um so no, so Good opportunity to the, for them to go and show themselves to the manager again. The manager's here. Fantastic that the manager of the football club's watching us. I think his assistant was here, Mitch, as well. And Fletch was here as well. So that's what we're all about. It's a club that's always about the traditions of youth and young players and the first team and the management being a part of all that. So the family feel to us, you know, that's what this club, football club's all about. And of, and of course, focusing on your job, it's been pretty quiet at parts, but especially in, towards the end of that first half, you had to be on your toes to keep your sides. It was 0-0 yeah. at half-time. Yeah, it was a lovely evening. I, I don't mind not touching the ball that much, to be fair. Like, the less I have to do, the, but again, it goes down to the boys' performance, like pressing from the front, working for each other, working for the match. Like, it is so key to me not making saves. And I, I thought they did it brilliantly tonight. And finally, of course, got to mention, Gaffer was here, Eric Ten Hag was watching on. What does that mean for what it's like in the change rooms, the confidence or just the mentality heading into the game? knowing that he's here I don't think any of us knew which <laughs> helps I guess because it's just a lack of it's not it's not a pressure because you, you want to play in front of the manager you want to show the manager what you could do and if you went in there and told them that tonight after how they played that the manager was there I'm sure some of them would be delighted like honestly they were brilliant and 
no, it would have it would have been good to know before, but hey, they don't make a difference to the boys. I think I think they were brilliant tonight. Of course, they're not the only two players that have been training with a the first team. There's been a handful which I'm sure is going to do wonders for the confidence. And then you've got Tyler and Kobe who've been named in the England under 18 setup. So it's yeah. just confidence on confidence. Yeah, they, 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 nearly there'll be a half a dozen of them players who've been and and, and been with the manager now, and the, the reports have been positive. Um, so that's great. They've, they've caught the manager's eye. They'll keep a, a good look on them. He's already given one or two an opportunity. Charlie was with them again last night. He got on the pitch last week, which is great for the academy. Fantastic for Charlie. Um, so no, it's great that that thread is all the way through. Of course, he's synonymous with that. He comes from a culture that were embedded in that with Ajax. So uh, he knows all about that, and uh, it's just really healthy for everybody.